Cat, Pride of Essex, Bill Jupiter, TV Jim, Claudia Winkleman, and their team captain, Sean Locke. And facing them tonight, Good Sport, Gabby Logan, Funny Man, Mark Watson, and their team captain, Jason Manford. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy Carr! Hello and welcome to 8 Out of 10 Cats, a show about opinion polls, surveys and statistics. Did you know, for example, 3% of people have answered their mobile phone while making love? Sorry, can't talk now, I'm just going into a tunnel. 50% <laughs> of the British population are dieting at any one time. Sadly, not lunchtime. And, according to estimates, Google's index contains as many as 25 billion web pages. I don't want to worry anyone, but I've just pressed print all. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. We've teamed up with a leading polling organisation and they've asked the British nation what stories they've been discussing this week. It's our palace job to guess the British public's top five most popular talking points. Sean, Claudia, Phil, what have the nation been talking about this week? Wimbledon. Everyone's been talking about Wimbledon. They all got excited about that little boy, Murray. He was doing well. Big whooping, Murray mound, kissing himself, Popeye, and then not. Are you just doing word association, aren't <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah. I found an Andy Murray slightly irritating. You found him irritating? The whole kissing of the muscles and all of that. His actual aim, I read this, it's quite funny, he said he credits his, his newfound health to his diet. He said, and at one lunch sitting, he had 42 pieces of sushi, but he's hoping to get to 60 pieces of sushi. <laughs> That's what he wants. I like this idea, you know those machines that fire tennis balls at you? Yeah. <laughs> he just gets one of those and fills it with sushi and just stands there going... <laughs> there was actually six complaints into the BBC because uh, Nadal kept scratching his arse during the... Uh... As if someone from the BBC is going to go out and go, excuse me, can you stop picking your arse? <laughs> the whole thing about his style of tennis is about his balance, which comes from his bottom. I think it's integral to the tennis, and Claudia probably agrees as well as a tennis connoisseur. And, yes. And a, and a lady who likes a fine bottom. <laughs> but, but I think you need to focus on his bottom. I don't understand who these people are who bothers to complain. My favourite complaint was on the channel Babe Station, where the three women have the boobs out and they've got a pair of knickers on. People ring up and, 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 and get off right for £1.50 a minute. Now, some bloke complained because one of the women showed a little bit of front garden, right? And again, at what point are you watching going, oh, this is brilliant, this is... Oh, no, you've gone too far now! <laughs> Do you know what me and Gabby did recently? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> me and Gabby did an evening with Sven Goran Eriksson. What do you mean an evening? For charity. And you did like a Q&A thing, didn't did you? Did you not get paid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason, you're so new to this. <laughs> well, let's have a look and see if Wimbledon's one of the most talked about things this week. Yes, it is. The most talked about thing is Wimbledon. Andy Murray could have beaten Nadal, all he needed was a slightly different strategy and a magic racket strung with dreams. <laughs> the crowd at Wimbledon got right behind Andy Murray as they queued at the exit. <laughs> Jason, Gabby, Mark, what else have the nation been talking about this week? Well, I think it's got to be the Royals. They're on their arse, aren't they? They've got no money. Apparently they're so strapped for cash that they were thinking about setting up a premium rate phone line. Uh, what, was that? what, what are you was wearing? A tiara. <laughs> Who's that getting off? Have you got my scepter in your hand? Yeah, it was like, it was a bit weird. Because <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to ring it, wouldn't you? You'd have to ring it. Just, Dial one for one. <laughs> Dial two for a racist rant from one's husband. <laughs> for Prince Harry, press the hash key. You know what I mean? It does seem extraordinary, but they are saying they're strapped for cash. They don't have any money. Well, can't they do a sponsored run or something? <laughs> I think they should what? do a calendar. The Queen yeah. should do a calendar, yeah. and over this nipple, she has a sceptre, and mm -hmm. that nipple, a corgi's nose. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But it's ironic, isn't it? You've got Charles trying to save the planet, obviously. Yeah. And he's filling his car up with wine. Wine and, and cheese. cheese, yeah. Of um, course you are, Charles. Of <laughs> yeah. course you are. <laughs> <laughs> filling his car up 
with cheese. The bloke has finally gone mental. <laughs> he, he took for plants for years, we will let it go, we let it go. He swapped Diana for Camilla, we let it go, right? <laughs> he's gone too far, too far this time. If I swapped Diana for Camilla, you mean his wife tragically died? <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, let's have a look and see whether the uh, Royals' finances is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the story that the Royals are apparently strapped for cash. In other Royal news, the naval ship carrying Prince William has seized £40 million worth of cocaine. So, 200 sailors and £40 million worth of cocaine. It's either the biggest drug bust in naval history or Elton John has fallen off the wagon. <laughs> In other news, Amy Winehouse has joined the Navy. <laughs> Sean, Claudia, Phil, what else have the nation been talking about? Is it the bloke, uh, the examiner, who gave someone a mark? They wrote F off on their exam. It's the only thing they wrote. And he gave, the guy got 7.5% because it showed rudimentary skills. <laughs> right? He would have got 11% if he put an exclamation mark. <laughs> and if he put, to whom it may concern, fuck off, he'd have passed. <laughs> That's true. So you got seven and a half percent for writing. F fuck off. off. But to be, fair, to be fair, though, the question was, yes. what should Piers Morgan do? So... <laughs> if there was any kind of pronunciation mark that I don't like, it's an exclamation mark. You could never date somebody who sent you a text and then ended it with an exclamation. Well, Claudia, he's doing his GCSE, so you shouldn't be dating him. To be fair. <laughs> But the justification for it, the examiner said, for an attempt to answer the question, it's better than leaving the page blank. And I thought, that's not the case, is it? You know, if you don't know the answer to something, it's better to be quiet rather than go, fuck off, isn't it? <laughs> but if you're a mastermind and they said, uh, <laughs> what year did they repeal the corn laws? You go, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you get a point for that. Well, you've just, you've just upped the ratings of that show. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Okay, you passed on three, told me to fuck off six times. <laughs> I can tell you that um, this wasn't one of the most talked about things. What? Oh. Fuck off! <laughs> This is the story that a GCSE student was given 7.5% for writing an obscenity on an exam paper. When he received his results, he got a C, a U, an N, and a B in maths. <laughs> Over to you, Jason. What else have the nation been talking about? Madonna, will she, won't she, are they, aren't they, her and Guy? Yeah, this has been talked about quite a lot this yeah, week. She's in the middle of a sticky and sweet tour, which, if you think, is actually the description of a Werther's original. And she's about old enough for Werther's originals now, isn't she? She probably keeps a packet. In her bra, in there. Back at work, <laughs> like this. You can see her now. Yeah. I made it through the world and now. Uh, <laughs> oh, these are lovely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> mm. God, boy. That may be the best impression of Madonna <laughs> I've ever seen. I think it's really sad, though, because I thought that was one of those. Oh! Don't believe... I don't believe it. They just haven't been photographed together. She said in a statement this week, didn't she? Oh, what are you walking like? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe she would have a Werther's bracelet that you could lick. They used to get those bracelets, didn't you? The elastic ones with um, sugar. Oh, yes, that you bit off. It's nice when you remember something from the past, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> the boys are pretending they didn't eat sweets when they were little. Yeah, that's right. I'm pretending I didn't eat sweets. <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Madonna and Guy Ritchie is up there. Yes. Yes, one of the most talked about things this week, Madonna and Guy Ritchie are rumoured to be having marriage difficulties. Some say Madonna is having a midlife crisis. Midlife? Yeah, if she lives to be 147. <laughs> Fingers on buzzers, what else have people been talking about? Is it uh, Big Brother? There's loads of things going on, like there's that zoo task this week, which was brilliant. Uh, well, and, they, and at the same time, the nominations came out. So at one point, there was just a slightly chubby seal uh, consoling another seal. Just like going, it's all right, don't worry about it. We all love you. It's really weird. It's like a porn version of March of the Penguins. It's really <laughs> odd. Let's have a look and see if Big Brother is up there. Yes, Big Brother continues. Jen and Beck dressed up as seals in this week's task. In other news, Greenpeace have come out in support of seal clubbing. <laughs> Mario's volunteered to be the zookeeper on the basis that he's worked with animals before. Dogging is not working with animals, Mario. 
I'm joking, we've got no evidence that Mario has been dogging. If I went to the gym, I could end up looking like Mario. There's a great cafe there, does cheap chips. <laughs> okay, fingers on buzzers, one more thing to get. What else have the nation been talking about? Is it the NHS? It's very difficult to get an NHS dentist, and a lot of people now are extracting teeth more than they're, they're doing sort of uh, repair work on teeth. They're just they're the going, well, we just... Take it out. Yes. Well, imagine what happens in my party. It's probably a communication problem, because the only thing you ever say in dentists is, ah. So... <laughs> Uh, uh. I don't go to the dentist, I'm allergic. Well, I went seven years ago. You went seven years ago? And he said, I'm going to have to give you three fillings. I got nervous, I said, I've got to feed the meter, and I haven't been back. Really? <laughs> I hope he's not still stuck yeah. there, <laughs> And also, I think I had a dodgy one once who was a bit too, I don't know. <gasps> I realise this is more of a panel show than counselling, but let's... <laughs> What happened? Well, all I'm saying is there was a lot of tell me whether this happened. I don't know, it wasn't fun. My mouth was open. It was like my wedding night all over again. I haven't been back. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they've attempted to sort of deregulate dentistry like they did with uh, opticians, but obviously they can't. It's a much more qualified job. And also that there is one tooth in your head. I don't know if you noticed, but it's actually connected to your spine. And <laughs> uh, dentists ooh. are the only ones who know where that is. It's not, <laughs> it's not even on the internet. And if you pull it out, <laughs> you, you end up walking like a cat. And that's sure, why... can you not try and scare team members? Because <laughs> poor Claudia now is going to you pull that? I think it's this one. I think it's this one. But they, they only the dentists walking know. Walking like a cat. How would walking like a cat well, what happens is you pull it out and it makes your spine go like that yeah, and then you, you walk on all fours. <laughs> and that's why only dentists can do dentistry. They can't open it up like they have with other things like roofing. And um, <laughs> there's only a few people know about this. The government know. Oh. They, they, they know. <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether failing dentistry is one of the most talked about things this week. Yeah. Yes, indeed it is. This is the story that NHS dentists are failing the British public. A spokesman for the British dental industry, a Mr Shane McGowan, said something about Christmas and then passed out. <laughs> I brush after every meal and my dentist says my hair looks lovely. <laughs> At the end of that round, Sean's team have two points, Jason's team have three points. Our next round is called Pick of the Polls. Jason, you ought to go first. What do you want to answer a question on? Let's go Jeremy Kyle. In a poll to find out the worst camping companion, Jeremy Kyle came second. Mm. Who came first? Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Kyle's a horrible little yeah. man, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. And I, you ever watch his show, he always has people on, and it, it really sort of, it's a real sort of freak show, isn't it? He's really sort of preying on a, the sort of complete disaster of their lives. And he always yeah. says he's helping people. And I was thinking, he's helping people in the same way as if someone needed an ambulance. You kicked them nearer the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you sort of yeah. booted them. You go, well, I'm yeah. actually getting you nearer aid, but I'm not actually really helping you, am I? He's a horrible little scumbag, isn't he? <laughs> uh, who's more annoying than him? <coughs> who's, who's more annoying? Yeah, that's what, that's what the question is. No, I'm asking. I'm just saying out <laughs> Oh, will you fucking sit here then, love? <laughs> A bit of camping. I went to watch the Grand Prix at Silverstone. Oh, the, oh, the Grand Prix. The Grand Prix. Oh, great, no, because yeah. I forgot what it was. But then, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> radical. And uh, so we decided, my then boyfriend and I, that we'd go in a tent. <laughs> and at Silverstone, the very rich people come in with helicopters in the morning. How do helicopters work again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I was. I'd woken up in Vietnam or something. Mugabe. You're not far off with that. Oh, Dave. Dave Mugabe. <laughs> Idi Amin. Oh, OK, a most wanted man in the world. Oh, Osama Bin Laden. Correct answer. Bin Laden. <laughs> yeah. oh. The worst camping companion would be Osama Bin Laden, surprisingly. That's nonsense. He's very outdoorsy. He'd be yeah. really yeah, useful. Yeah, you're right. He's been living <laughs> outdoors for years. He'd be fantastic. <laughs> I leave Ted now. I get massive dinner for us. Yeah. Which I will cook. Brilliantly. <laughs> I'd go as far as say I would like to go camping with... If, Osama, if you're out there, you're on, mate. <laughs> Osama Bin Laden has been number one on the FBI's most wanted list for the last seven years. Number two is Rihanna with Umbrella. <laughs> OK. Sean, Claudia, Phil, what do you want to answer a question on? Chips, please, Jimmy. Chips, please. <laughs> what do the nation prefer, chips or poetry? Chips. No, this is That's a chip question. No, of course it's not. People are going to go chips, aren't they? Oh, people chips. Are, people yeah. eat chips all the time. There's chip shops everywhere. There's no poetry shops. Good point. No. <laughs> see people drive around going, bloody hell, poetry shop's shut. Can't believe it. <laughs> people outside. Terrible poetry shop back there. God, it's awful. Yeah, there's a really good poetry shop just up the road there. Much better poetry. Can I have yeah. a selection yeah. of haiku and a bit of cod, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously, it's chips. 
Um, OK, so chips or poetry, you're going, what do you think? Do you think people prefer to be seen as somebody who liked poetry? I think they show But actually off. they read chips. Because it's... Because <laughs> it should be. Poetry, what do people like reading? If it was, what yes. do you like reading? Yes. I'd go poetry. Yes. But you can't eat poetry, can you? But you can read chips, because if they come in newspaper... As John Dunn said, oh. man is not an island. Mm. <laughs> what about the Isle of Man? <laughs> <laughs> We have to say we could choose from anyone in the world for our question, and their question was, what's better? Something really nice or something no one likes? Chips. All right, you're going chips. All right. Chips. I can tell you that 80% of the British public prefer chips. Of course they do. I don't know much about poetry, but I know what I like. Chips. <laughs> so at the end of that round, Sean, Phil and Claudia have three points. Jason, Gabby and Mark have four points. Join me after the break, and we'll be finding out what women want. <laughs> Welcome back to 8 Out of 10 Cats. The next round is Believe It or Not. In this round, I give the panellists a simple statement. All they have to do is decide whether they think it's true or false. Here is a musical interpretation of horoscopes. Yeah, that's what I said, to illustrate the statistic. Born to be bold, I'm the sign of the brave One hero alone with a whole world to save I am, I am, I am the ram I am, I am, I am the ram I am, I am the ram Talk about the forest, talk about the bully boo boo Talk about the forest, talk about the bully boo boo Don't want the raggedy, the cheap and the shoddy I like to take good care of my body. <laughs> the diet calls for a remedy. Who watches scales more so than me? Lib 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 brand lib 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 brand. Lib 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 brand lib 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 brand. Gregarious, hilarious, aquarius. That was a special treat. Was I the only one going, do mine, do mine? I wonder when it rhymed everything and then when it got to Pisces, it just went, ah, p -p -p Pisces. <laughs> what, your related statistic? Uh, if they could predict the future, 26% of people would like to know how they're going to die. What do you think, true or false? I think if you knew you were going to die, you could get your last words in order. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Claudia. Yes. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Claudia's in the House of Parliament. <laughs> yeah. 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 That looks a bit close. Or, no, oh, apparently yeah. the Japanese eat them all the time. Or, you know, you want to say something good, don't you? My granddad said, knock, knock. No. And he went, <laughs> and he was going, and it's a shame because he was a funny bloke. But it was a good one. <laughs> I had a very embarrassing incident at my granny's funeral. An I, embarrassing incident? Yes. Ooh. I had to uh, do a reading. Oh. And How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, reading, yes. I see how that would work. You don't do this on the BBC, and now we're looking at golf. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's the judo. <laughs> and the night before the funeral, my dad said, oh, we found this, this lovely reading, and we'd like you to do this. So I stood up, and in front of the congregation, I said, I'm going to read something I found in Nana's drawers. <laughs> the best thing would be to know how other people die. Yeah. 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 I'd like to know when Amy Winehouse dies, so I can start buying the newspapers again. Things like that. <laughs> Right, OK. <laughs> if you could predict the future, 26% of people would like to know how they're going to die. What do you think? It's I right. think it sounds right. You OK, you're going true? Yeah, we're going to yeah. go true. OK, yeah. what do you think? We're going to go no. Yes! Just to make it interesting. Yeah! You're saying Let's cost. go off-road. They're going off-road. Yeah. Whoa! 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 We're going to say no. <laughs> is that for my benefit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can tell you the answer is true. 26% of people would like to know how they're going to die. 
If you're Scottish and you don't want to know how you're going to die, look away now. Heart attack. <laughs> Can I just add something? I just feel a little few pangs of guilt that you might think I was making fun of my granny's funeral. Actually, it was a really good laugh. Everybody had a great day. <laughs> and because they're Welsh, they all said, Gran would have loved that, Gabby. If she wasn't dead. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say that I was not molested by a dentist? Because <laughs> my parents would feel really guilty about Dr. Rosen. Okay. <laughs> can I? Oh, just, just, just so I'd say, there isn't a tooth in your head. <laughs> I'm sorry. And also, Madonna, no, Madonna has a very high protein macrobiotic diet. <laughs> That would completely preclude her eating sugar in pretty much any refined form. So Mark. she would therefore not eat Werther's original. Yes. <laughs> so at the end of that round, and after much soul searching, it's three points for Sean's team and five points to Jason's team. Yeah. And the winner is, is the name of our final round. Top luxury women want in their house. Is yeah, it a yeah. beauty therapist? Then, like a tiny man who will just do your nails. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. Go on. It's a talking cat that knows secrets. <laughs> that would be my luxury. The cat come up and go, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Come over here. <laughs> I love it already. <laughs> you go, what is it? Go, no, first, get me some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, Gloria. This cross the What is it? What's the sequel going to be? I don't know. I <laughs> I'm not a cat. <laughs> is it that? No. <laughs> is it a hot tub? Oh. No. Come on, Gabby, you're a girl. It's, OK, it's, it's connected to the bedroom. It's an ensuite. Correct answer. <laughs> Top person to put on a British banknote. Um, the Chuckle Brothers. And then what you could do yeah, is you could have one, like, one yeah. on the front, one on the other yeah, side, yeah, yeah. and then in Latin, to you, to me... Ad mihi ad tibi. <laughs> 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 to you, to me, to me, to you, in Latin. I think so. Well, you've just got to think, what's the dative? So then it's obviously... Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> That's what I do for my day job. They bring me phrases for banknotes and I translate them into Latin. <laughs> it's been a slow decade. <laughs> <laughs> what about a little mirror so it was you? Oh. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Every time oh. you go that, you go, Oh, I'm on a banknote, look! No, you're not. Yes, I am! Oh, that'd be brilliant, that. <laughs> Simple question. You're right, man. That'd be brilliant. OK, Crazy. top person to put on a British banknote. Diana. Correct. Oh. Oh. Good one. Good one. Yes, the person Brits would most like to see on a banknote is Princess Diana. But that's ridiculous. You can't have a picture of a dead person on one side of a note and then the person that killed them on the other. <laughs> Well, that sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show, which means the final scores are Sean, Philip and Claudia have three points, Jason, Gabby and Mark have seven points. <laughs> Thanks to all our panellists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. Time-travelling fun. We're back to the 70s as Michael Caine and Beyoncé Knowles co-star with Mike Myers in Austin Powers in Goldmember tomorrow at 10. Next tonight, you have spoken. Jen Walks in Big Brother. <laughs>